Um, I'm Milton Horning, uh, at NVH on Twitter. Uh, and um, I. Oops. I work at a company uh, called Framer. Um, and uh, Framer is a prototyping tool. Uh, where, uh, well, it's pretty similar to Playground. So if you, if you like Playground, you're uh, probably going to love uh, Framer. We have code on the left and your, your prototype or your preview on the right. Um, you build your prototypes in CoffeeScript and soon uh, modern JavaScript or TypeScript. Um, and on the right side, side, you just have a web view. So it's um, uh, cross-platform by default. Um, the development cycle is much uh, quicker, though, than in, uh, even quicker than in uh, Xcode Playground because we have nearly instant uh, reloads. Um, I'm not going to show, show it to you today, unfortunately, but if you uh, like to check it out, go to framer.com and uh, uh, watch the videos and guides over there. I also am one of the organizers of Cocoa Heads in the Netherlands, uh, where we have monthly meetups um, of uh, iOS and Mac and Apple-related development topics. Um, so, um, I'm going to do a session of live coding today, and I want to get set some, uh, some ground rules. First off, I'm not a robot, so uh, if you think like, hmm, I think I spot a bug, uh, just wave your hand, uh, or, or you're like, uh, uh, just wave your hand um, and, and point it out to me so we can fix it together. And if you're like, what? Or even, no! Just, just don't be shy and, and just ask so we can, so I can explain it a little bit more. Um, so um, before we start coding, I want to do a quick show of hands uh, from your the non-Dutch people here. Who has ever been to the Netherlands? Okay, and from those people, who has been ever outside of Amsterdam? Okay, okay, that's a fair amount. For the rest of you, um, I'm going to take you on a journey. Uh, through all the nice places that are, there are to visit in the Netherlands outside of Amsterdam. But because while Amsterdam is a really nice city, um, usually people only visit Amsterdam and, and go, uh, uh, don't go outside of it. Um, so I built this uh, uh, app for our epic journey through the Netherlands, um, which is just a, a basic collection view. Um, and you can tap these images to uh, enter and get some more detail about the different places we are going to visit. Our first stop is at the Binnenhof, which is in The Hague, where our government resides. Um, and uh, the, the, on, on your way to The Hague, there is uh, Bodegrave, which is where you have a brewery in a, a mill, and they make some delicious uh, beers. So, now I showed you uh, a little bit of the app. Um, now, let's see how it's actually built. So, I have this view controller here, um, uh, which is our journey collection view controller, which manages this collection view. Um, and uh, right here in our git select, select item at index path, um, there's, there's a lot of things going on. Um, so we first uh, grab into our data source and we get our item. Then we instantiate a new view controller, uh, creating like a tight coupling between this view controller and another view controller. And then we're grabbing out to our parent view controller, the, the navigation view controller, to say, okay, now you show this view controller. Um, and my goal in this talk is to show you another way uh, not, uh, to, to, to do this uh, using coordinators. This is an idea originally, um, I learned of originally uh, from a talk at NS Spain by Sharush Ken Lu. Um, if you're interested uh, uh, in, in going deeper into this, I would definitely recommend uh, watching that talk. Um, so um, what we're, what we're going to do here is uh, first, um, well, I, I said this was protocol oriented, so we're going to create a protocol. And this protocol is coordinating. And it is coordinating something, uh, namely a view controller. Um, so, and this is going to be of the type of view controller. And you might think, is this some new Swift pre-thing type? I haven't caught up on, catched up on. No, it's an associated type on this protocol. Um, um, which uh, is, uh, should be a subclass or of the type UI view controller. Uh, then we have our, uh, oh yeah, and we should be able to, uh, this should be optional, and we should be able to get and set this view controller. Um, then we have our root view controller, which is just the UI view controller. Um, and we have a couple of methods um, uh, we're going to use uh, from this coordinating uh, protocol. 
Um, one of them is uh, used to uh, create uh, a view controller. Um, and it's going to return uh, just a normal view controller, uh, uh, something of the type view controller. Then we have something that will uh, configure the view controller. Um, and uh, lastly, we'll have something that will show that view controller. Okay, now what we're gonna do is add some extensions to this protocol to add some default behavior to it. So uh, we're gonna add an extension on coordinating and we're gonna implement uh, uh, configure. Um, and this is past the view controller. And well, actually we just um, added, adding this to have a default implementation. So you don't need your, to configure your view controller uh, all the time, but now there's a default implementation, so you don't need to implement this method uh, once you adopt this protocol. Um, and then uh, we're gonna implement the show function, which will, uh, which will be passed the view controller, and then uh, it will tell the root view controller to show uh, this view controller. Uh, so. um, and then finally, we're going to add a function which is called dismiss, and that will tell the root view controller to dismiss uh, this view controller animated. Um, all these functions uh, can be overwritten if you want to, but there are nice, uh, nice handles to, uh, uh, to get started with. So now I'm going to create an, another extension on coordinating, and uh, here are the functions you you are uh, well we'll, we'll be using to to uh, handle these coordinators. Uh, first, we have the start function uh, that will uh, create this view controller. I haven't actually implemented the def default implementation for this create view controller, so this is the one you definitely need to override when adopting this protocol. Uh, we're setting self view controller to this view controller. Um, we are configuring the view controller, um, and finally, uh, we will uh, show the view controller. Um, there's an error there, but I will get to that later. Uh, then, if we we'll, um, stop the view controller, uh, we'll call dismiss, and we set our view controller instance to nil. So, now let's look at this error here. Um, it says, well, uh, this method is actually mutating this class. So you're, you're, you're setting the view controller property of this, uh, this class, but it's a protocol. So we don't know if this is a struct or a class or whatever. It's something that adopts it. Um, so uh, what we could do is make this method mutable and then every uh, 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 thing that implements this method should be mutable. But the thing that's going on here is that we want to keep a reference to this specific view controller. Um, and to do that, we actually need the same instance. Um, so what we're going to do is not say, okay, this, this method is mutating, but actually our old protocol, because it contains some properties, uh, needs to be implemented by uh, a class. Um, so now we're restricting this protocol only to be adopted by, by things that are classes. Okay, let's create our first coordinator, uh, which is our journey coordinator and it will be adopting the coordinating protocol. So, um, it will have a view controller um, uh, of the type journey collection view controller. Um, it will have a root of the type UI view controller. Uh, we need to set this root and we'll pass it to the initializer of this uh, class. And in the initializer, we'll set the root Sorry? Ah, yes, the amp race is missing. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, um, so now we're uh, going to create our view journey view controller. We're just going to return a new instance of journey view controller, or journey collection view controller, and we pass it a layout. This is just some gener generic thing I, uh, I defined before. Um, and with this, we can already uh, replace our setup code that we have on the bottom here. Here we instantiate view controller and 
um, then pass it into a navigation view controller. So what we're going to do now is just create a navigation view controller and let our main coordinator, uh, let it uh, be a journey coordinator, um, uh, which we pass the route, which is our navigation view controller, and then we will start this main coordinator. So if everything's correct, uh, we can now continue our uh, uh, journey to the Netherlands and uh, visit the Dutch cheese markets in Gouda, uh, or visit uh, Hofwijk, which is the nice little mansion built for Constant Heikens. This is in the place I was born. Um, so, uh, so, so this still works. So now we, we basically created the coordinator, and all this does for us is instantiate the view controller and then uh, does something around it. So now let's try to uh, uh, grab this part that I talked about before that does a, a lot of stuff uh, uh, related to, to view controllers and uh, parent view controllers. Uh, let's, let's grab that out and move that to a function inside of our co coordinator. So we're going to create a function did select item uh, at index path and it's going to be past an index path. And then just paste this code over here. Um, so now it's going to complain to us that it doesn't know the data source. This is correct because our uh, journey coordinator doesn't have a data source, but it's in the uh, collection view controller. So we'll just copy it over uh, and paste it here. Um, and then uh, it will complain that it doesn't know a navigation controller, but this is actually our root uh, view controller. Um, so now we still need to uh, call this method when we are um, uh, uh, when we actually tap a cell in our collection view. So what we're going to do is uh, we could do this with a delegate pattern or something like that. But what I'm going to do is uh, use uh, a property that stores a function, um, which is this select item, uh, which is of the type uh, function that uh, is passed an index path. Um, and then in our configure method of uh, the coordinator, uh, we're going to set our did select item to the did select item at. Um, so now the final thing we need to do is actually call uh, uh, this method. And there's an error here. Oh, yeah. So we set the uh, uh, data source of the collection view. We set it in the initializer of the, um, uh, of the view controller. Um, now uh, we move the data source up to the, uh, uh, to the coordinator, so in our configure method we also uh, need, need to say that our collection view data source is actually the data source we have in the, uh, in the coordinator. Um, so now we're going to, inside of this uh, co collection view did select item, we're going to co call did select item. It's an optional property, so I should unwrap it first, and we're going to pass it the index box. So let's see if this works and we can continue. Um, so uh, apparently it does. If I click it, it does. So we continue our journey through uh, the Netherlands to Utrecht. Utrecht is uh, basically a smaller and nicer version of Amsterdam. It has canals and it has uh, the uh, tallest church tower in the Netherlands. Um, and uh, th there's also a really nice amusement park called the Efteling, which not only has a lot of roller coasters, but also this really nice and really old uh, uh, a wood full of uh, 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 little fig figures um, uh, showing fairy tales. Okay. Um, so now we, uh, we created one coordinator, um, but we're still here um, instantiating this uh, site view controller inside of the coordinator. So let's create an another coordinator that handles that. Um, it's going to be a site coordinator. Um, and this is also going to be coordinate coordinating. And for that, it needs a view controller uh, with a, a type, which is the site uh, view controller. Um, and it needs a root again, which is just a UI view controller. Um, and uh, that we need to set that in the initializer. Um, and then we need to create this view controller, obviously. And then we're going to return an instance of site view controller. 
Uh, and this initialization needs a site, like this site view controller is, is uh, showing a specific site. Um, so let's add that uh, to our coordinator. Uh, let's say uh, site is of the type is of the type site. Um, and well, because it's uh, an instance, we should pass it to uh, the initializer um, and pass it through this method and set the self site inside here. Um, so this is the only thing we need to do because all our uh, default implementations of the protocol coordinating handles the rest. Um, so the only thing we need to do is use this coordinator. So we're going to use this in our journey coordinator, uh, which we, we will give an ins instance of the uh, site uh, coordinator. Um, and this instance uh, we will set instead of the view controller. So we will say self.site coordinator is a new site coordinator that we will pass the root and the item that we just selected. Um, and then we just call self.site coordinator dot start. <coughs> so this will uh, 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 th this runs and it will actually uh, work. Um, so we continue our journey to the Eisenha Planetarium. This guy is a brilliant uh, uh, astron astronomer that actually in his living room created a planetarium, like a, a, a representation uh, of the solar system that still uh, works and is correct today. Um, so um, you might have seen that um, in uh, the site view controller, there is this share button, and I want this share button to work. Currently, if I press it, it, it doesn't do anything. Um, so let's add this sharing functionality by creating a, a wrapper around the uh, UI activity view controller class that is provided by UIKit. Uh, create like a coordinating wrapper that's generic and we can use multiple times. So uh, for this, we need to, uh, uh, like in this uh, uh, view controller, um, uh, we need, uh, when I press this button, I want to show a popover. And as you might know, if you show a popover, you need like a rectangle or a UI bar button item to show this uh, uh, popover from. Well, we don't have any, any way to, to define this, so what we are going to do is extend our coordinating protocol and uh, create another protocol that is uh, a popover coordinating protocol. Um, and this is uh, going to have the same functionality as our uh, uh, normal coordinating protocol. The only thing that it has extra is a bar button item uh, of the type UI bar button item, which is optional. Um, and uh, we're going to um, uh, have a different implementation for our uh, show method here, um, which is going to be passed. Uh, View controller. Oh. Here we need to say that we uh, are able to get this barbarism item from the information um, uh, And here, uh, what we're going to do is on this view controller, we're going to say on the popover uh, presentation view controller, set the barbarism item so UIKit actually knows where to present this uh, uh, popover from and then uh, call present, present on the uh, root view controller and pass this uh, uh, view controller that we are showing animated without a completion block. Um, so now uh, we can implement our sharing coordinator using this protocol. Uh, so we uh, create a new class share coordinator which is popover coordinating. Um, and for this, we need this bar button item that we just said. We need a view controller, uh, which is the uh, Apple provided UI activity view controller. We need a root again. View controller. Um, and we need to initialize that with the root. Set the root view controller. 
Oops. Then we are going to uh, create this view controller. Uh, so we're going to return an instance of UI uh, uh, activity view controller again. Um, and this initialization or this, this constructor needs uh, the application activities. We're not going to use them, but it needs these activity items. So um, uh, uh, we should pass the items that we are going to share, and we, we, should, we should pass them in here. So let's create a property to store them first, the shared items. Um, but of what type should they be? Um, the, um, uh, we could make it of type site because the thing we are sharing now is site. Um, but as I said, I wanted to make this generic. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, make that a generic type, share type, uh, on the share coordinator uh, that will uh, have this, uh, uh, the, the type of the thing we are sharing currently uh, in it. So we can use it um, uh, at other points. Um, so now um, we can pass these shared items in our, uh, uh, in our uh, constructor uh, and the only thing that's left is that we need to add them to our constructor or to our, our initializer shared items which are of the type shared type shared items Okay, now we have our share coordinator, um, but, uh, and we could implement our share coordinator directly inside of our site coordinator so that it will run, run that. Um, but eventually, I want to add it to our journey coordinator as well, so I can s select m multiple uh, sites um, as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is create another protocol that implements the default behavior for uh, a, a, a coordinator that is sharing something. Um, and we're going to do that here. So we create a protocol that is uh, sharing. And this has a reference to the share coordinator. Um, and that is of the type share coordinator. And as you might remember, this is a generic type. So we should need to define uh, which type this, this will actually be. Um, and what we're going to do is create an associated type on this protocol that defines uh, what the shared, shared type uh, of this will be. Um, okay, so the other thing we need to provide is the shared items, uh, which are, is going to be an array of the shared type. Um, and then uh, uh, we're going to have a method that, uh, that, is, uh, um, uh, that is called when we actually uh, tap our share button. So uh, we're going to have a function did tap share button, and it's going to have a sender. Um, of UI bar button item um, and we're going to have a function uh, that will be called when we actually share uh, uh, the thing. So now we're going to create default implementations for this uh, so we're going to create an extension on uh, the sharing protocol um, in, which we, in which we implement uh, this tab share button Um, of the type UI bar, that's an item. Um, and uh, in this, we're uh, going to instantiate our share coordinator. <coughs> um, and we pass it to shared items. But here I have a problem because our share coordinator uh, needs to have this uh, uh, root, this, this, this view controller. But this is just a sharing protocol, so it doesn't know about all this coordinating stuff I've been, uh, I've been implementing. Well, we can fix this by uh, saying, well, this extension only holds uh, if we constrain it, if the, the current uh, thing that implements this is also implementing the coordinating, the coordinating protocol. Um, and uh, so we, now we can use the uh, uh, root property that is uh, in this uh, coordinating protocol. Uh, we, we, we can actually use this because we say we uh, constrain this extension to the um, uh, coordinating protocol. Um, so uh, now we're going to set the bar button item on the share coordinator. 
which is going to be the sender of uh, uh, the button we tapped. Um, and we're going to say share coordinator.start. Um, there's actually one, uh, one more thing we like to do because we want this did share uh, 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 function to get called when we actually did, did share uh, something. Let's fix this error first. Oh yeah, we have the same problem here I explained earlier that uh, it wants the, the, uh, um, the function to be mutating because it access, uh, accesses a property um, or it changes a property on uh, this protocol. Uh, so what we're going to do is say we need to implement this method in, inside of a class. Um, so to have a reference or to have uh, the notification when we, uh, uh, when we actually did share something, we're going to have a completion handler inside of our coordinator. Um, and this completion handler is just uh, 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 a function that takes no arguments and doesn't uh, uh, respond to anything. Um, and then in our configure method, we're going to configure the, um, uh, the view controller and set the completion items with handler, which is a function that does take argument, but if for this uh, example, we don't care about it. Um, and uh, we're going to call uh, self.completionHandler. Um, and to be a good citizen, we're not going to get, uh, oh, we're going to not take a strong reference to self, but actually a weak reference. Uh, and then we need to have this one optional as well, or unwrapped as well. Um, so now um, uh, I can set uh, the, uh, a new function uh, that is uh, uh, did complete share. And I can set the uh, completion handler of the share coordinator. I can set it to the discomplete share function. Uh, like this. Um, and I could actually uh, use this did share function uh, over here. But as this is my, my public API that I want uh, uh, the, the, the things that inherit or that implement this sharing protocol uh, to have, and here I, uh, I want to have some cleaning, I still have some cleaning up to do. So I need to dismiss uh, or no, I need to uh, uh, self.share coordinator. I need to stop it and set the reference we have to it to nil. Um, and then we call actually call the did, uh, uh, did share button. Um, so let's see what's, uh, what's wrong here. Oh yeah, share from the completion handler. Okay. So now I implemented this, this generic sharing protocol, so I can confirm my uh, uh, site coordinator to it. So what do I need for that? Uh, share, share. Um, I need uh, a property that stores the share coordinator, <coughs> and this share coordinator is of the type uh, share coordinator, which will share the sites that we have, and I need to implement the shared items, um, which is of the type a list of sites. Uh, well, in this site coordinator, we only have one site, so we're just going to return that site inside of an array to make the type matchup. Um, uh, oh, yeah. This should be an optional type. Oh yeah, and now it, it wants me to implement the did share uh, method, um, but actually in this case I don't care about uh, uh, the sharing, I only uh, care about that later. So what I'm going to do is uh, just like we did with the configure uh, view controller, um, I'm going to um, uh, implement uh, an empty stub for this, uh, just so, so if you implement this protocol you don't need this anymore. You don't need to implement. You don't have to implement it. Um, so uh, the last thing we're going to do is when we configure the view controller, um, I have this uh, a method on the view controller, uh, which is called did step. Conveniently, did step share button. And now uh, from this sharing protocol, I inherit this did did step share button uh, function. 
which I can then assign to my view control. So, um, if we continue our journey uh, to uh, Delft, where the bullet holes are still in the wall for where uh, the first king of the Netherlands was, uh, was shot, um, uh, we can actually share this. And we can share it, for example, to the, oh, this is a little bit smaller, to the code mobile Slack channel. I think it will show up there now. Um, so this will actually uh, uh, work now. So uh, we've implemented a generic way um, uh, to, to, to implement this sharing. Um, so let's add this, like this is a gen generic way, so just, so let's add it to our uh, uh, collection, uh, or journey coordinator as well. Um, so all we need to do is uh, implement sharing protocol And for this, uh, we need to have a property share coordinator. Oops. Uh, and this. Uh, um, which is going to be of type site. Um, um, and then we have the shared items. Uh, which are of type site. And what I'm just going to do is return all the items. Um, I luckily have in my data source a uh, property called data. And you can see here that that's of the type site, actually, or of array of sites, actually. So I can just return that. And now, I, um, uh, as, you, as you've seen here, um, I don't have the share button on, on top of here yet. So let's add that in our configure method. So uh, let's say navigation item dot uh, left bar button item is a UI bar button item uh, of the type system item action with the target self. And now we need uh, a, uh, an action for this, which is an objective C selector. So we can just pass our uh, protocol into this or the, the method we get from our protocol. Um, so we need to have an add objective C function with a sender UI bar button item. Um, and then uh, we're going to uh, call the did tap, oops, did tap share button, and we pass it the sender. And here we're going to have a, a, a reference to this selector share. Um, so now, I have this, uh, uh, this share button here, and I can even uh, share uh, all, the, all the things again. Let's not do it to Slack, but let's uh, show in the email that like we have all the, uh, all the items here, currently just the images. Um, um, uh, so this is the only thing I needed to do to implement. I only needed to have like the, 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 the stuff that was from the view controller that, that creates like this specific button, but all the handling of the, uh, 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 of the, the, the actions that you actually want to take of showing this view controller are all handled in a generic way by protocols, just by conforming to these protocols and setting a, a couple of properties. So there's one last thing I'd like to do, um, and that is um, uh, not only sharing uh, the, uh, all the items, but also have like an, uh, the ability to um, uh, uh, select specific items. So um, now, uh, for that, I created an editing protocol. Um, I'm going to put this code online. You can look at it later. I'm not going to walk through it. But the only thing you need to know is that this editing protocol provides us with uh, two bar button items that are linked to two functions that, uh, uh, um, that we can use to, uh, to switch out in our navigation uh, bar. Um, so here in our journey coordinator, I'm going to paste this code that we're going to walk through, um, uh, which is this edit editing uh, property. Uh, let's conform to the editing protocol first, um, which is this editing pro uh, property, which has uh, this set handler that uh, if we are editing, we uh, set the right bar button item to a done button. Um, we set multiple uh, selection to true, so we can select multiple items, um, and otherwise we revert, re revert it again. So we uh, set the edit button, uh, we set multiple selection to false, 
um, and then every item that was selected in our collection queue, we, we set that to false. Um, then we have two methods that we call from the, uh, um, uh, from the edit buttons, uh, which basically, if we are going into edit mode, we set editing to true, and if we're done editing, we set editing to false. Um, so now the only thing I need to do in our, con in our configure method is actually set uh, the initial right bar button item uh, to our ed edit button. And then uh, it, will, uh, uh, it will show up here. I can tap it, it will switch to done, and it will switch back. Um, and now I can select, oops. Oh, yeah. I should be able to select multiple items. But um, uh, we, or we implemented this did select method. And what this did select method does is actually um, if we select something, then uh, we grab something from the data source and create a new uh, coordinate. So we don't want this to happen while we're in editing mode. So we set uh, editing uh, to, uh, oops. We set, uh, uh, we guard if we're not editing, um, then we want this to happen. Otherwise we, we uh, early return. So now if I press the edit button, I can, pre I can select multiple items. Um, and I can uh, share them again. But now I still have all the images here. I don't. I still return from um, my uh, uh, from my uh, shared items uh, property. Um, I still return all the items in, in the data source, not only the ones I've selected. Um, so let's quickly um, uh, fix that and say that our view controller. View controller dot collection view uh, dot selected uh, index paths for selected items, um, and now uh, we can see that we have an array of uh, index paths, and uh, we want to uh, an optional array of index paths, and we want to uh, return an array of sites. So let's first uh, uh, move this optionality out of the way by um, uh, adding a default of an empty array. Um, and now uh, uh, we map these uh, uh, s selected items. Uh, we map these and take the index from the index path. We take uh, the item. Um, and now it, we have like a list of integers with the ind indexes uh, that we want to convert to the sites. Um, so let's map that to uh, our data source dot uh, item at Oops, don't need that. Uh, method uh, and now uh, it says yeah uh, that's fine but I have optional sites in this array because the index uh, the item adds returns optionals um, uh, but we can easily fix that by make this a flat map um, and that will filter out the, the optionals if there are any um, so now I can uh, select two items and share them. And share them, and I will, only two items will show up. Um, so let's quickly recap. What I what I showed was a way of having a top level uh, above your view controllers that actually handles your application flow and implemented that in uh, a protocol-oriented way. So you can reapply the, the ideas that you, uh, 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 that you like the, the things you implemented earlier, you can reuse them like I showed with the shared coordinator in multiple uh, other places. Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I want to talk about. Um, so thank you very much.